I was talking to one of our soul winners just, just in the last day or two, and I said, now you're going to have to understand something. As you become a good soul winner, you'll get more criticism. You let a person really get on fire for God, and even the inner circle of the people will start picking at that person. You know why? Because it's a fruit tree. The soul winner is more noticed. Boy, oh boy, he's something. He goes soul winning, yeah, and he whispers in church. Boy, if he's such a good soul winner, why does he be quiet in church? <clears throat> you'll get more criticism the more souls you win. You'll get blamed for more things the more souls you win. You'll be, you'll be pointed to more the more souls you win. You know what? There's something in every one of us that makes us want to chop down the person that's doing more than we're doing if we can find him doing something that we wouldn't do. There's something in every one of us that makes us want to pull the fellow down to our size if he's ahead of us. Do you know the preachers that I'd rather criticize than anybody else? The one's doing more than I am. But I'll tell you one thing, brother. I'm not going to mess with fruit trees when we have a bunch of withered fig trees that are bearing no fruit at all. I'm going to try to stir up the people that are doing nothing and trying to, instead of trying to cool down the folks who are doing too much. Soul winner, expect it. And don't quit.